يعني صور امريكا ولكم امريكا ريفولوشنري The revolutionary is very fact in America because it's American is very strong here in Egypt. American help all the time, all the regime. All. American help in Mubarak. American help scare. American help in our Muslim brotherhood. And revolutionary fight with the three. Fight with the Mubarak regime and fight with scare and fight now with Muslim brotherhood. American If revolutions succeed, Americans need to start joining the revolution at home because the revolution is interconnected. You know that's really what Ahmed feels, mm. and he's and he's very happy. And he's very happy to meet American revolutionaries because he never even imagined that people in America were demanding change as well. And so for him, he's just so happy to be able to to meet people who who also demand change. Do you think that the army is is beginning to become more sympathetic to the revolution? Is there is there any sign that that's happening in the sense that some of the officers that came into the square were, were they uh, what happened to them and what's happening? Do you think the army is solidly going to stand behind the Muslim Brotherhood, or is it impossible to know? سألوا إن هل تفتكر إن الجيش في صور وإن الجيش هيوقف مع الثورة دلوقتي ولا إن الجيش هيوقف مع الإخوان يعني ولا الموضوع صعب إن نحلله لا مش نقدر نحلل ده لأن إحنا فعلاً لسه الصورة مستمرة. So he's saying, um, you know, are there revolutionaries in the army? Of course there are, but right now the the, the situation to assess is difficult in terms of whether the, the military will stand with the Muslim Brotherhood or support the current uprisings. The uprisings are, he's like, we're in the middle of a fight. The uprisings, for many people who don't know, is they're spreading all over the country right now. There's very intense uprisings. <laughs> And, you know, the military is still standing in, in, in the shadows, um, waiting for the, 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 the tilt of power to happen, just like it happened before, where they can't support the Muslim Brotherhood openly anymore because there's so much unrest against them. So if the power, sh if the amount of unrest grows to a certain point, then they may step in and support it. But I, I think one of the things Ahmed was, was trying to get at is, is the fact that he, he doesn't see the military's institution doing anything but serving its, its order preservation. You know, so that's kind of the crux of that. It's sort of the same thing here. Um, I wonder, Captain, uh, if you can comment on, do you think there's any hope of the police in America becoming more sympathetic to the Occupy movement in general? A lot of the police are sympathetic. But the fact is they can't step out individually and let that be known or they will be branded. And uh, higher officials will make sure that they're not heard of. Again, by that I mean they'll be shipped to the midnight shift. They'll be shipped to uh, the furthest parts of the city and whatnot. So there's always that intimidating factor to speak out. You will be branded. <laughs> 